In November 2020, the HKMA released a two-year roadmap to further promote RegTech adoption in Hong Kong, transforming risk management and compliance, harnessing the power of RegTech. In 2021, we collaborated with the HKMA to build a RegTech skills matrix framework to identify the skills required to accelerate the adoption of RegTech. And based on that skills matrix, we conducted a skills assessment amongst 158 banks and 34 RegTech providers to identify the skills gaps in the Hong Kong RegTech ecosystem. Firstly, there are many opportunities for RegTech talent development. Skills gaps were identified in all 38 skills areas of the skills matrix, indicating that the industry is in the developmental stage of RegTech adoption. While technology is the central theme of RegTech adoption, organizations also recognize that non-technology skills play a critical role in driving RegTech adoption. Among the 17 skills gaps, the top three are the skill to convert regulatory and business requirements into application controls and automated solutions, followed by process automation and collaboration skills. It's also a common challenge to find talents that possess the required multidisciplinary skills. So, for example, the right combination of local regulatory knowledge, technology and analytical skills, coupled with business acumen. So, as you can see from these highlights, there are still many opportunities for RegTech talent development in Hong Kong. And while Hong Kong is viewed as the top jurisdiction for RegTech expansion, the skills assessment results show that organizations are keen to further capitalize on RegTech's potential and to develop the relevant skills required for RegTech adoption. This is particularly true for the traditional banking sector, where we saw their assessment of each skill's importance level, depth of current skill level, and desire to invest was generally lower than virtual banks or reg tech providers, with the latter groups reporting fewer skill shortages, reflecting a more mature stage of reg tech adoption. And in light of the need to further encourage talent development, there are several local programs that are currently in place, including the FinTech Proof of Concept Subsidy Scheme launched by FSTB, and the FinTech Anti-Epidemic Scheme for Talent Development, or FAST, administered by Cyberport. The Hong Kong Institute of Bankers has supported the talent development and training needs of Hong Kong's banking industry for more than six decades. In recent years, we have seen regulations and compliance in Hong Kong evolve to safeguard the assets of both customers and banks. Thanks to the technology such as blockchain, cloud computing, and big data analytics, banks can adopt red tech systems, which are driving a paradigm shift in the regulatory landscape. Against this backdrop, the shortage of dedicated talents is a significant barrier to red tech adoption in the Hong Kong banking sector. Banks not only need more talent, but also the right talent with the relevant skills and knowledge to support the adoption of red tech. Red tech talents are also expected to possess or further develop the skills and knowledge such as risk management and regulatory compliance skills, banking literacy, including regulatory trends and development, technology and digital transformation skills like artificial intelligence, big data analytics, soft skills such as communication, presentation, collaboration skills, and change management. When conducting our talent development survey a few months ago, the HKIB reached out to over 900 banking petitioners and industry stakeholders. Over half of the respondents considered RegTech to be in high demand. The strong demand for RegTech talent is likely to continue. So, how are banks in Hong Kong currently identifying the right RegTech talent or developing RegTech talent internally? 
building red tech talent can be done by adopting both short and long-term solutions. In short term, banks usually collaborate with technology vendors or startup firms to adopt their existing red tech solutions or resources. Another way is done through on-the-job experience for targeted areas like enhancing due diligence, upgrading the know your customer process, and gaining knowledge of how to meet risk management and regulatory compliance standards. In the long run, it is important to build a sustainable structure in nurturing homegrown talents. We should reserve dedicated time and budget to upskill and rescue current practitioners. For example, through the Enhanced Competences Framework on FinTech Program launched by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. Bank's senior management should encourage banking practitioners to embrace continuous learning. Also, local universities to help offering more talent programs to students to pursue in the banking industry in building the future talent pool. Let us now transition over to Douglas, who will speak more about the importance of nurturing young red tech talent from a university's perspective. I think if we think about the dominant themes of finance really across the world and in this region over the past 25 years, they can break down into three crises and particularly here, the 97 and 2008 crises, post-crisis regulation and new technologies. If we think about the crisis standpoint, since 2008, financial industry globally has paid over 320 billion dollars in fines. If we look at regulation, we have had massive regulatory changes after 97 and again after 2008. That has made compliance one of the fastest growing segments of human resources employment in financial services to the point where today, globally, the financial services industry spends somewhere between 300 and 700 billion dollars a year on compliance. Finally, from the standpoint of technology, we've seen a long-term process of digitization. Finance, technology, regulation are intimately interconnected. If we look at that compliance spending, approximately half is on technology. And if we look at total global technology spending in the financial sector, it's about $600 billion a year. In the context of Hong Kong, we're very strong on finance and universities have played a key role in supporting financial education, as well as particularly since 97, legal and regulatory education. We're a bit weaker from the standpoint of tech. While universities have often delivered tech graduates, the key challenge has been a lack of knowledge of tech in the regulatory space and a lack of knowledge of finance and regulation in the tech space. And I think going forward, the big challenge for universities is to bring those pieces together in interdisciplinary degrees at the undergraduate, postgraduate and online level and team building across technology and regulation. So to wrap up, RegTech is in high demand, and with that, the strong demand for RegTech talent is likely to continue. There are many opportunities for RegTech talent development in the current landscape. And it's very encouraging to see that the HKMA and other industry stakeholders are already actively contributing to the development of Hong Kong RegTech talent in the following examples. The Enhanced Competency Framework, or ECF, on the FinTech programme was launched by the HKMA to guide banking practitioners on the journey on RegTech skills development. The FinTech Future Leader Academy has been established by ASTRI, while the Greater Bay Area FinTech Talent Initiative has been launched by Hong Kong United Youth Association to cultivate talents with industry partners. It's important that all stakeholders in the RegTech ecosystem continue to encourage RegTech talent development. Mm -hmm.